The International Criminal Court was set up in 2002 as a last resort to try criminals and perpetrators of genocide never tried at home. Since then, the ICC has opened inquiries for nine nations, all but one of them African. The results have been mixed. The first successful conviction of a war criminal by the ICC was Congolese warlord Thomas Lubangadielo. He was sentenced in 2012 to 14 years in prison. More recently, the case against Kenya's President Uhuru Kenyatta and Deputy President William Ruto failed. They'd been accused of allegedly masterminding deadly post-election violence in 2007 to 2008. The African Union has accused the ICC of unfairly targeting Africans. And in February, members backed a Kenyan proposal to push for withdrawal. Together, we can make a powerful statement that reflects our refusal to be carried along in a vehicle that has strayed off course to the detriment of our sovereignty, security and dignity as Africans. The following month, South Africa and Uganda refused to apprehend Sudan's President Omar al-Bashir during his visits. He's wanted by the ICC for war crimes in Darfur. The AU has proposed to expand the jurisdiction of the African Court of Human and People's Rights to include international crimes. This week, Burundi threatened to reconsider its ICC membership following the launch of preliminary investigations into post-election killings in the country. Burundi says its own courts should have priority to investigate. Clementine Logan, CCTV.